Making content does not need to be hard. Here are five things I would do if I was having an online sale this fall. Number one, update your Facebook cover photo. First impressions matter. And when someone finds your livestock operation, that's the first thing they're gonna see. Make sure it's covering your next offering. People need to know when your next sale is, where the sale is being hosted at, what your offering consists of, what makes what you're selling different from your competitors. And lastly, it should match the visual branding of your other sale elements. So if you're having an online sale on SC, for example, it needs to match that same color, font, and vibe of your sale banner on SC. Cut out the hard work for your audience, make it really easy for them to associate your Facebook page with where they're going to purchase that calf. Number two, utilize a pinned post on both Instagram and Facebook. Right away when someone lands on your page, don't make them scroll all the way down past cell phone videos and other graphics to find the information that applies most to them. This needs to be the details on viewing your offering, the address, your viewing hours, any extra information that you don't wanna include in your Facebook header. Number three, prioritize cell phone content. Guys, I make professional videos for a living and I am stressing the importance on this. If it's good enough for Snapchat, it's good enough for Instagram and Facebook. Make sure that that valuable content is up for viewers to see more than 24 hours. Just pair that cell phone clip with a bit of trending audio and you've got an awesome marketing piece that will last so much longer than that short Snapchat story. I do think you should be sharing your sale videos as well, but you're always going to want to prioritize those cell phone videos. There's something about an iPhone lens that looks the closest to the natural human eye when viewing livestock. Number four, I would do a giveaway. This is the easiest and fastest way to grow your reach while still providing value for your audience. Make sure that they have to follow you to win and have them tag a few friends in the comments just to keep that ball rolling. I would probably do this giveaway a week out from your sale. Lastly, number five, continue that branding in person. People want an experience. So when they show up at your place, have a physical banner that matches the branding and aesthetic of your Facebook page. If you put emphasis in the details like your sales sheets, making sure they're on really nice cardstock paper, people will notice those details. You can even do something fun like offering hats or stickers to people who come and view in person. Guys, I know how hard it is to stand out in this extremely saturated space, but I promise you, if you even put forth the effort to implement those five easy tips, you will stand out and your audience will appreciate you for it.